Talking about Dungeons and Dragons, I actually bought what? my little, oh, little sporran here. Got all my little dice in here. Sporran! Yeah, and uh, well, now I've worked out you're a cleric, Carnal, which means you get a plus five for charisma. But if I roll these little dice, <gasps> oh, oh. I've got a nat 20. Great. Yeah, means we can proceed with the story. Thank goodness. <laughs> Dragon Quest is a game like D&D. It was uh, first written around about the same time in the late 70s. I was one of the first game masters way back in university days. Certainly for the first few years when I played, I would definitely be the only woman in the party. It was very much a computer geek, uh, yep. science fiction reading yep. uh, male in the first place. He's waving them on saying, kill, rain, maim, rim, destroy them all. There were three different games that were being run uh, by friends and they all met at university. They decided to get together and actually combine their games into one shared campaign. Shared universe is, I guess, a shared set of places and a shared history. So one player can burn down a pub and um, in the next adventure, uh, another set of players, not even that one, will come along and find a burnt down pub. And in, in the peak, there were maybe 60 people playing with um, you know, maybe eight um, different sessions out in different places. And now we've got 40 years of history of uh, wars and famines and um, um, magnificent heroic events. You're going to know nothing unless you've read the scribe notes. Someone in the group is nominated as a scribe for the game and it's up to them to document the main events of the game and to keep the records. It's a little scary knowing that there's so much history. They'll just go off on these tangents about these these uh, these quests that went on, you know, 30 years ago. And they'll just talk about it, and I'll just be sitting there, like, nodding my head, like, yeah, yeah, yep, I, yep, I, I was there too, yeah, I remember that. That's definitely not 10 years before I was born. We've got quite a few second-generation players now. It's Spud! No! <laughs> Lisa is playing a character that's 30 years old now, I think, and, um... Her son's playing as well, uh, and he was born 10 years after that character was started. They've been doing it since I was, yeah, like a toddler, basically. And so every now and then we just have these random kind of, to me, strangers over like every week. And they just, one of them would be taking care of us kids and one of them would be in here playing. And it would just be like, it's, it's, it's DQ night. Oh, yeah. he starts shaking his, uh, his um, severed uh, wrist in front of your face. Droplets of uh, blue blood going everywhere. And I like to think of it as collaborative storytelling, um, and that you're coming together and each bringing your own part to it. So it's a bit of improv, um, a bit of tactical gaming. It's what you do one night a week, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's not just the game. It's you know keeping up your social context, if you see what I mean. It's a great escape um, from like you know reality and just a nice place to relax with, with friends. When I was on my own with the kids, it was a really, and, and I couldn't go out, you know, so it was really great having once a week I knew people were going to come over. But largely it's about being social, getting together, um, making shit up and having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely story. And we, we were chatting about this story today and actually found out quite by surprise that one of us has a long-running game, not that uh, game, but a, related, like a board game. That's you, Jeremy yeah, Corbett. Uh, yeah, I can't tease him about that. No, nowhere near as long, but I've got a group of friends that we play with just down at Cafe 23 this afternoon, actually. Mm -hmm. Set up our little game, and this is one that you buy it and you can only play it once and it goes over like three or four months. And uh, as he said, it's great social contact. I think these people would not catch up with me if it was just a catch-up. Yeah. <laughs> because it's a board game, they're yeah. there. <laughs> Rick, David and Glenn. Thanks for letting us into your home and your game, guys.